What's going on everybody? Uh, today I'm going to do a iMovie uh, video on some of the special features such as uh, the ways to use the keywords on there, uh, replays, and show you a little bit of uh, cloning stuff that you can do on there. So we'll go down here and open iMovie and get started on it. Uh, first of all, I was going to show everybody how to use keywords. I use keywords a lot uh, because it makes it a lot easier instead of going through a lot of clips over and over again trying to find the clips that you're looking for for your videos you can create keywords uh, to find those parts easier first of all what you're going to want to do though uh, is go up to your iMovie and in your preferences we're going to make sure that you have show advanced tools checked there there's a lot of tools there that don't show up if you don't have that and it doesn't have that checked you know, from the factory. When you get iMovie, it, it does not have advanced tools checked. So go ahead and check that, close that out, and your iMovie may look something like this. This is the way that it comes preset. Uh, your clips are down here and your projects are up here. But I use it the other way around because you've got a bigger area down here to do your editing. So if you want to do that, it's a little bit easier for me. But we'll, we'll get into uh, keywords here. What I do for keywords, uh, for instance, like uh, we'll do right. part right here. Wait. This is my wife, Amanda. And we'll select this part of uh, this clip right here. And if I needed to find this clip easier the next time I wanted to use it, or if I'm going to do some other things to this video before I use that, I can select that and then come uh, right down here and hit the key. And when I hit that key, I can go down here in the keyword box, type in Amanda. Let's see here, let's uncapitalize everything. Amanda, and we'll add that to clip. And then we close it out. So now when we're in this folder, we just hit the little magnifying glass right here, and we've got a list of keyword items. <clears throat> when I click on Amanda right here, um, we get right back here to this clip that we just keyworded. We can double, we can click it, um, or we can double click it to edit it. But it's right there. You don't have to search through all the clips in that folder. So that makes it easy for um, for editing. I've got a lot of those here that I use. Um, also, I wanted to uh, show you a little bit of how to use instant replay, and I'll use a little bit of the keyword stuff that I just showed you to do that as well. What I will do, uh, we have a video or a folder here called a day at the park. Uh, when I hit um, search, it brings up my keywords and I can hit one right here, it's called squirrels or nuts. Uh, this has got some pretty funny uh, video footage here on some squirrels playing at the park. And I have a favorite clip right here. When I clip on, click on that, it'll select this clip right here. I can drag that for editing. Drag it down into here, and to do a instant replay on this, this is a pretty good clip for that. You grab the front of it. We get our selection here because these squirrels uh, are like fighting over this nut. So we'll drag that to the beginning where this squirrel's getting ready to jump, and then we'll drag the other side in. where this squirrel lands. So now we've got this part right here selected. Then we go up to clip. <clears throat> we go up to clip, go down to instant replay, and we can go over to 25%. That's going to automatically split this uh, clip out. Uh, See, so it goes from real time to an instant replay back to real time. You can also do this, uh, if we do edit undo change, it leaves the clip selected. We can go back to clip again, go to instant replay. We can go to 50 or 10%. We'll try 10 here. This will make the instant replay a little slower. You can see there it makes it a lot slower. But you can use this feature for this purposes like this. 
for sporting events like baseball, like your kids, baseball games or whatever. But yeah, that's a pretty good feature that you can use for stuff like that. Um, also, I have a feature that I've found you can do, uh, I call it cloning. Uh, you can go, I've got a clip here saved for it. Uh, got some keywords here, left side clone and right side clone. We'll start out with this one. <clears throat> this is me on the right side of the door of my kitchen here. Drag that down into here. And then I'll get my video where I'm on the left side of the door. So like that, I'm gonna drag it down inside of this clip. Let it go and then I'm gonna select green screen. And this goes back to those advanced features. If you do do not have those checked, you will not have these options. You just have a very few options if you don't. Uh, so we're gonna hit green screen. It's gonna bring this clip up above it. As you can see there, we're gonna click, make sure you're clicked on the green screen. Go up here and click cropped. Then we're gonna bring this up in the corner. And we're gonna bring this side over to here. We're going to bring the bottom right hand corner down to the center as well. We hit done. When we go back to the beginning of this, I'm going to be on both sides of the door. That's just a cool little feature there you could do for little uh, special effects. But that's about all I've got for today, so I will see you guys next time. <laughs>